Hey, what's up guys? It's Jack Lyon here today with another Ableton tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a device that I built in Max. If you guys are interested in buying it, I'll include a link to my Bandcamp where I'll be selling it, as well as Woog's Bandcamp and Gumroad. He's been a big help with my Max journey, as well as with this device specifically. If it wasn't for him, then this device wouldn't exist. Um, Basically, it's based off of his sneaky send and receiver device. And what that device does is allows you to send signals around different channels and chains in Ableton. And what I've decided to do is go ahead and expand on it. And uh, he helped program some of this as well, the uh, FM synthesis aspects. So now you can not only send signal at wherever you want in Ableton, but you can take that signal and treat it as an operator into a FMable carrier. So I'll show you what I mean, if that was a little confusing to you, because FM synthesis can be a little bit confusing, but it's okay, you don't have to really understand FM synthesis to be able to use this device. So here we go. All right, so in this channel, I have an operator instrument playing a C3. And in this one, I have an operator instrument acting as the carrier, playing a low C1. Nice. So what I can do is set the channel. I have both of these set to zero. And here, maybe let me just make sure they're connected while they're on. Nice. So now they should be communicating with each other. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this one all the way down. So now. All you hear is just this channel, okay? So if I turn this little graphical interface on, you can see the waveform coming in from here, this channel. So watch what happens if I turn the LFO on here. You can see the frequencies start to change, okay? So watch what happens when I turn this up. <laughs> we start to get FM synthesis, okay? So uh, basically this is inspired by phase plant and I'll get into that in a minute. So uh, let me just show you a cool feature, some cool features about this device. One thing is it'll show you what note is coming in from here. So right now we have a C3, like I said earlier. If I change that to C4, then it says C4 and we see the appropriate waveform. Another thing you might notice is this little fluttering going on. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to turn the FM amount all the way down. Okay? And I'm going to take this and map it to the second uh, uh, oscillator on this operator. <laughs> We're getting a little confusing with the terms here. There's a lot of operators being thrown around. Perhaps I should have used analog. Anyway. So if I go to the operator and I put this on fixed, so I have a low frequency playing, you can see the fluttering kind of in action. And you can hear what it's doing. So if I change the frequency, it'll change the rate of the modulation that is being mapped. So basically what I'm doing is taking the audio rate from here and I'm treating that as a mappable thing. So it's sending signal to here, and I can not only FM the signal coming out of the instrument, but I can map the signal coming in from the operator to any parameter I want in live. And I can also change the ranges here. So this is useful for a lot of things. Uh, moving on, I'll show you a little bit of phase plant and how that works. So in phase plant, we can take the audio rate out of any of our, these are like your oscillators basically. I can take that and map it to any parameter I want. So, you know, we have phase modulation, I would assume. And 
I'm pretty sure that's FM. Uh, I can map this anywhere, dude. Like, literally anywhere. Oh, I guess I can't map those over here. But anyway, you get the point. If anything, that just shows that the device I've built is a little bit more versatile because I can take the audio rate and map it to anywhere in live. So my device is uh, very much inspired by Phase Plant. The uh, mapping part. I actually had the FM idea before I had Phase Plant. So the mapping thing was kind of useful for other reasons. So I just, I just decided to incorporate that as well. So that's the bulk, the gist of what you can do with this device. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if you need to, you can use a, um, you can use a different channel. See, I've set a different channel here. If you want to use multiple instances of this device, but always remember you got to use the pair, otherwise it won't work. And one thing that I've decided to try it and experiment with is kind of treating Ableton like it is phase plant. So here you see, I have a operator, operator, operator. This is a chain of operators and I'm basically doing what I did to this pair, but in a chain and I'm treating this one big fat synth, like, you know, it's one instance of like phase plant and I can use whatever I want, tension, analog, electric, anything. And I'm doing, I'm able to do the same thing that I did here with the device on the chains. So you can kind of get uh, granular with it and start really messing with a lot of minute things and getting some really intricate patches this way. Um, I'm not going to experiment with that in this video because that would be time consuming, but I'm sure that you guys all have your own brilliant ideas. And if anyone actually comes up with anything really cool that they want to show me that with this device, I would love to see it. Um, one more cool thing I'll show you is that you can actually use this device on audio signals as well. So if I have these two channels, ooh, that's loud. Sorry about that. I'll have to edit that and turn that down for you guys later. So we have these two things going. Okay. So if I turn this all the way down, you can only hear the carrier. So I already have an instance of the FM modulator on both of those channels. And now what I can do is frequency modulate the audio. You know, play around with the pitch. Almost sounds a little reduxy. So I have a couple of effects here, and if I turn them on, it can start, kind of starts to bring this patch to life a little more. Especially if I go ahead and map this to, let's say, the five. And one last feature of this device I'd love to show you is the shift mod. It kind of shifts the incoming frequency. You can't really see it, but it shifts the incoming frequency. You can kind of hear it. So that might be a little more obvious on these two. So yeah, guys, lots of uh, lots of possibilities with this. I was super stoked when I finished it. So I hope that you guys got inspired or got some ideas or something. So uh, just to recap, FM modulator. If you guys want it, hit up the Bandcamp. If you guys want it at a discount or for free, possibly if I'm in a good mood, then go to Wolg's page. Just buy his or just support him somehow. You know. Just do something to show that you supported him and show me and I will show my gratitude by hooking you up with this device in a way. Somehow. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. See you guys next time.